I like took a couple hits off of this joint that my friend Maddie gave me for my birthday last night. And then I started watching the movie and then I got like food poisoning or something like that. COVID probably did. So I was just like rolling on the floor while the movie was playing, like watching it, like just being like, oh, while Sammo Hung was playing <laughs> okay, this like yeah. mentally challenge. What did you eat? What did you eat? Uh, I think it might have come from I ate my kid's food that was too old for him to eat. I thought it would be okay for me to eat, so I ate his like leftovers. You ate expired baby food? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, technically. <laughs> You ate baby food and you got sick. It's not baby food, it's real food. It was it was cucumbers mostly, honestly. Babies okay. out here raising babies. You don't have food poisoning. I was I could not you just have diarrhea because you ate ba- expired baby food. You ate old cucumbers. I don't know what happened to me last night, but it was an insane movie to watch while going through whatever I had. You had a, you had a, a real big dummy situation on your hands? Yeah. I was the speaking, big dummy. <laughs> speaking of big dummies, today's movie is Heart of Dragon, 1985, directed by Sam O'Hug, starring Jackie Chan and Sam O'Hung as brothers. Jackie Chan plays a police officer. Sam O'Hung plays his older brother, who is mentally retarded. Yeah, as they say, what makes you say that? (laughs) Sam O'Hung that to his face. Sam O'Hung described his character as retarded in an interview. Oh, nice! (laughs) So I'm going to honor. Well, they say they say it in the movie too. Yeah, he gets called retarded to his face multiple times. So Chinese, (laughs) it's just funny. This movie is amazing because of how mean everybody is to the. Well, let me ask you something. Yeah, Yeah. this must have been a special experience for you to watch. Is yeah. it any particular reason why? Well, it must be well, nice to for you to people, watch a movie. You know? Yeah, to watch a movie about a guy like you. Look, I'm not like this guy, <laughs> okay? Just, you just described your last night. Just got food poisoning from eating expired baby food. I'm not <laughs> Sam Wong's character in this movie. Okay. Okay. If that's what but you I say. Mean, which character did you relate to? <laughs> I, I know, okay, I, I wrote down I already do. I already wrote down who's who. <laughs> Let's start. Ryan, you go. Go ahead. Um <clears throat> So obviously we've got me as Jackie Chan, easily. The cop. CID. Jackie Chan the cop. Yeah. Um we got Adam as big dummy. Yeah. You yeah, know, my retarded older brother. It's big dumb. and uh, and William, you're um, Jackie Chan's reluctant to show public affection girlfriend. Oh, so yeah, my girlfriend. that's, that's and I'm true. always trying to nibble on your neck and just be playful. But Adam's always there wanting to kick a soccer ball around like a big <laughs> dummy. <laughs> I liked I wanted to watch this movie because after Super Cop, which was, you know, an excellent slick action movie. I wanted to watch something with a little more character, a little more drama. This was dra- very dramatic. Melodrama. It's, oh my God, this was... Relationships. This was, and if we're going to start talking drama, you already know. That's the sound of the twisted T half and half cracking, uh, because this movie made me a little emotional. Jackie Chan in a riveting performance, um, crying yelling at his retarded older brother like saying he wish he the face. Saying, <laughs> slapping him saying saying he wanted to do a uh, murder suicide yeah that's how i felt myself last night still do so let's set it up jackie chan is part of like the opening scene so this is the japanese extended cut it has more action than the normal hong kong version but the movie starts off with Jackie Chan dressed in yellow with his teammates. And I knew something was up. I mean, it didn't look normal. Like, But there's like a big shootout between two teams of this like special forces 
um, group and while Jackie while a song sung by Jackie Chan is playing underneath. Yeah. That's uh there's a lot of movies where he has a theme song, huh? And he like yeah, records his own music. He sings the opening and closing song of this movie. I mean with a voice like that? Yeah, it's beautiful. He's like Adele. He's like he was doing shit Joe Pesci was only dreaming of doing years before Joe Pesci entered yeah. the music game. Jackie well, Chan, the original Joe Pesci. I have to stop both of you because Joe Pesci actually started off as a musician. Him 1968. And Frank Vin- him and Frank Vincent were in a band together, and you can Google photos of them. Mm-hmm. And, they're and that was cool 1968, 70s, right? And they're cool 70s clothes. Uh, their, his first album came out in, I want to say, 1968. And then he came out with another one that's great. Oh, beautiful. Joe Pesci, beautiful. But beautiful he, singer. He didn't achieve... Uh, musical success until he came out with his uh, rap album. It's not a rap yeah. album. There's there's one rap song on it. It's a multi, yeah, it's multi-genre. <clears throat> and it's got one of my favorite songs on it. Um, you can take your you can take your love and shove it, or you can take your something and shove it. I just remember the rap hook. Uh, it's or you the can take and shove you. it up your fat ass. It's the bitches that'll get you. Joe Pesci is saying that. Joe Pesci, yeah. go listen. Go, he sings it in. Um, cool. in well, he knows. Well, it's in character of his, his, uh, my cousin Vinny, whatever the main character's oh, right, name right, is. Right, 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 right. It's more of a good fellows. No, it literally the name of the it album is, the, is, the, is whatever the main character's Vinny. name is. I'm pretty sure it's Vinny. <laughs> oh, then maybe it's from a different movie. <laughs> yeah, he's not a gangster. And my cousin Vinny, he's a lawyer. That was good. Anyway, we're getting off topic. So, yeah, we got Jackie a lot of Chan then cover. joins a special police unit in Hong Kong, run by this real tight ass who doesn't want him to be a super cop. But um, yeah, there's a cool fight. The book. There's a cool fight scene at this like uh, methadone lab or clinic. Yeah, it's Vincent LaGuardia Gambino. Yeah, that's not his character from My Cousin Vin- Vinny. Who's is who? Is, yeah, it is. It's got the fucking cut. It's the well, the Gambino crime family is like a whatever, a mafia. Oh, Ryan's family. Right. oh and why? Wise guy. Wise guy is his rap. I'm a wise guy. <laughs> Let me Google this. Is Vinny short so, for Vincent? Ed, wait a minute. In my cousin Vinny, he's Vinny Gambini. <laughs> okay then yeah that's it's that character as we're supposed to be talking about jackie chan and well you Tom can't uh, you can't bring up joe pet you can't bring up joe pesci guy. jackie yeah, chan there would be no no that. listen there'd be no joe pesci music career without jackie chan period no i think ryan is correct it is his character from my cousin Vinny, yes. who is a lawyer but now is a gangster rapping <laughs> He sings. He's like a lounge lizard. It's a common path for many lawyers. He won the Oscar for Jack- Goodfellas. I want to see Jackie, uh, Jackie rap. That would be cool. In blackface? That would be sick. Well, obviously. I'm surprised that, <clears throat> that there isn't a Jackie Chan blackface rap movie after this one because this movie oh. really goes there. I mean, this is... Uh, it gets there. He also has got some sick ass. He's always wearing the dopest uh, clothes. What do the kids say? Drip. He's got the sickest yeah. drip. In the That's beginning, he's wearing that full, Jackie. that full, that full yellow suit. Ooh, this is definitely a movie for like your buddy who um, who likes Joe Rogan. You know, who's tired of all that woke PC bullshit. Like, yeah. you put get, this on. The nitty gritty. This is like. We're talking Sambo Hung with a bowl cut, you know, and then <laughs> and a, a spectacular bowl cut. And oh, he's got he's he's got like friends, like a, his friends are like all a bunch of little kids. Yeah, just like Adam. <laughs> it's just no, I, that's my son. It's not my friend. It's like it would be cool if the baby that I made. Well, here's one thing I saw. Like oh, on Instagram this weekend, Adam had his birthday party, and it's just him and a bunch of little kids running around. <laughs> <laughs> just him and a bunch of babies. No, that's my son. <laughs> but well, who was that other baby? Uh, that wasn't. There was another baby there. That was my friend. <laughs> You're just eating old garbage. 
My friend Judy. Your son picks up like an old turd out of the grass. You're like, don't eat that. And then you just like slip it in your mouth. I don't want him to eat it. But anyway, um, yeah, so <laughs> Sambo Hung's a real star of the movie. Jackie Chan is kind of a side character. Sambo Hung has like some amazing scenes. His friends, his little kids, they're hungry. And they look at a restaurant and they see a guy tip. And then they think, oh, that's how much the food costs. So then they ha- they gather up like $10, $12 or whatever. And they go in the restaurant and they start ordering a bunch of food, ice cream, uh, pork chops, a bunch of shit. And um, eventually the bill comes. Ryan's, you're, are you muted? Yes. So eventually the bill comes and they don't have the money. And this is one of my favorite things in movies about mentally challenged people. There's always a transaction scene where they can't get the transaction together. It's like they just assume they can't add and they think like, oh, well, they'll just pay for something by using a smaller amount. Like in I Am Sam, there's an amazing scene where he goes to Payless to buy shoes for his daughter. Mm-hmm. and he just doesn't have enough money and then the, the sales clerk is like i'm sorry sir i can't sell you the shoes and then like dakota fanning's like come on dad let's leave and then fucking uh sean penn is like crying is trying daughter? to pay for it. is yeah, that my trying, daughter in there he's trying to pay for it with like too small of an amount um but anyway uh the kids you know they get nervous because they don't have enough money so they start leaving one by one and then sammo hung is like the last one at the table and he tries to sneak out the restaurant and then the wait staff confront him and they start chasing him around and they're like doing like karate kicks and they're like smashing him in the tables they're like oh, yeah the they're, they're like <laughs> yeah <laughs> this guy what a what an amazing restaurant though every waiter knows like karate or That's kung cool. fu or some sort of martial art Eventually, Sambo Hung gets chased into the kitchen, and then he hides in the freezer, and he uses, like, <laughs> a frozen, like, rack of ribs or freezer. something, or, like, a fish, and he, like, locks the, ga- the the door, and no one can get him. And eventually, one of the kids gets Jackie Chan, and Jackie Chan is, like, pounding on the door, trying to get him out, and then someone's like, he's probably frozen stiff by now. So Jackie Chan crawls up through the um, the air shaft, the air shaft, which is just the open, there's a freaking yeah. gate. There's like a, like, are people crawling, crawling around? There's like there? a screen door. Often? Yeah. That like, <laughs> on a opens hinge. up and he just like walks, he crawls in. He rescues Sam Hung and Sam Hung is like blue with like white frosting. Like, it looks like the frozen emoji, the cold emoji. He looks emoji. like Shaq Nicholson in <laughs> The Shining. Yeah. He has like, He's and so nobody, ca- nobody else cares to. Nobody Jackie. gives a shit. They're like, he's got a like stupid idiot. Yeah. At this point, the restaurant is shut down. There's like a, a gang of people watching. There's like cops. This, this dude has this. This big dummy has ruined this restaurant's income for an entire day. Like they have to like shut the. Whole, <laughs> well, they also like wrecked point, the restaurant. <laughs> well, like they were beating him up. Yeah, they were like, it's like, bro, just let him. If you would have let him off the hook and then went out of pocket for his meal, for his four ice creams and a spaghettis and meatball. Yeah. Well, they don't make him work it off. I mean, like, that was no me. It... That happened in my, in my restaurant. Big make dummy did it instigate off. it though. He, he like punched first. Okay. And it's, okay. and it's fair game. If somebody that's retarded punches you, you can beat the <laughs> shit out of them and lock them in a freezer. I've heard that's that. fair game in America. Yeah. I don't know Hong Kong or wherever they film this, but Yeah. Where was it filmed? Japan? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. I believe it was Hong Kong. <laughs> it's always There's a Hong lot. Kong. They mentioned Japan a lot, though. Wait, we haven't talked about the one scene before they, when we were meeting Samuel Hong and these, this like little kid group of friends where the, the, the Samuel Hong's like, reach in my pocket. <laughs> That's what <laughs> I was trying to yeah. say about Adam. And he reaches <laughs> in and just, and goes straight, straight. You see the kid like grab his junk and, he, yeah, and the, the kid pulls his hand out and is like, uh, oh, there's a hole in your pocket and you're not wearing any underwear. Yeah. I'm like, yep, this is and Adam. Sam Hung is like, oh, well. He's like, huh? I thought that was what innocent. That didn't really. It yeah, was, was innocent, sweet. but it's also a good trick, man. That's a good trick. I've been doing that. I've been doing that for, since I learned about the popcorn trick. Yeah. I just ask strangers and I wear, and I wear uh, slim, fit, 
slim fit jeans. So it's like, it's hard for them to even get their hand into my pocket. I, I just have a hole. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I just have a hole in my pants with like... and my balls fall out of my pants. Why? Just unzip. Hey, that's cool. That's what the zipper is for. And my pants got worn down. Yeah. It's not my fault. That's what I say on the bus when everyone's looking at my balls. I just go like, hey, it's not my fault. Yeah, he, he just wears really <laughs> tight pants. <laughs> a lot, of, a a lot of frictions happened here. Your nuts from uh, rubbing against the inside of your pants just slowly uh, burned a hole. Yeah. Sanded a hole through your... Been there, man. Been there. The penis area is totally good, though. Not worn out at all. It's just the balls. <laughs> Well, I'm always hard, so my penis is like tucked up. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's very cool. Very cool. Safe. But so yeah, you got so dick up, balls out. Dick up, I balls love. Out. These are my favorite scenes in the movie. I love anything with Samuel Hung and when the children. The, the second yeah, beat so to good. the restaurant is a kid is in trouble in class, and he doesn't have a father. He lives with his brother. So he tells Sam Hung, like, why don't you pretend to be my dad? And we'll go to, um, and you can have the parent teacher conference. Oh yeah. And Sam Hung is like, I don't want to do that. He's like, look, I'll give you an action figure. <laughs> He's like, okay. So then they dress him up <laughs> in like a button up t-shirt. So he looks respectable. And, and the kid is like, Hey, just say, don't worry. I'll, t I'll punish him. If he does it again, I'll kill him or whatever. Yeah. Or something like that. He's like, just say that. So yeah. the teacher is like talking about the kid and he's acting up in class and he's doing this and that. And then Sam Hung's like, don't worry, I'll take care of him. I'll kill him. If he acts up again, I'll kill him. And he, then he pulls out the action figure and he starts like doing a little like walk on the desk. And Hell yeah, then, that uh, was like every parent teacher conference I had. And the, the teacher Good gets dad. like wise to this and he starts like exaggerating what the kid did. And he says, like, so uh, yesterday he uh, molested a little girl. <laughs> yeah. And, and Sam Hung's like, don't worry. If he acts up again, I'll kill him. He's like, yeah, and then he the just other... keeps saying that over and over. That was what he did at the dining table, too. At the... They yes. just get him to say things their parents, they, heard, they overheard adults say. Yes. And then eventually he says, like, Stuff. he killed a little boy. You know, he did this and that. And then. He's like, all right, you can go. And then that kid's in trouble. Even but, more yeah. so. It's He's in really trouble for having a retarded dad. Yeah. That would have been in China. <laughs> I wish that, that's, that would I be was a wishing that's where the where the scene was going. It felt like that would they would punish a in kid for having China, a retarded China, dad. China, yeah. That it's your uh, fault, your dad's retarded. There's another scene where like he's getting tutored. Sam Hong is getting tutored or something like that. And the guy's like, You're so stupid. Oh, like, that was tutor. that was brutal. Yeah. But Jackie Chan's listening. Yeah, he pops in, he throws him out, saves the day. He's got the heart of a dragon. Yeah, okay, so what is the point of this movie? Like, what's the plot exactly? Is then... Well, Brian, somebody you brought that up because this is a common uh, motif in drama. There's like Of Mice and Men where we have one normal guy if one retarded brother and then you have rain man where you have tom cruise uh -huh. and dustin hoffman as uh who is more of like Two retarded autistic. guys yeah <clears throat> and um you know even adaptation there's a little bit of element of this this is a common you know it's just it's almost a genre unto itself yeah that's true it's like a buddy cop but um i would love to see that Brother, <laughs> brother, <Reed. laughs> I'm surprised they didn't I mean, do that. They did it in scary movie, but like, you know, if there was a reason, like a cop and a half situation where Sable Hung had to be given a gun and a badge and go undercover, yeah, that'd be awesome with his brother. That would have been a great sequel. Damn. But uh, the plot here's the plot it basically around an hour into the movie, the there is like a major conflict. And that is, there was a bag of jewels that were stolen, and they were trying to do this deal with these gangsters. Jackie Chan and the cops show up in the middle of the deal, ruining it. And one gangster grabs the bag of jewels and runs away. 
back to Samuel Hung playing with the kids, they're going to play cops and robbers, and they give Samuel Hung a pretty realistic looking fake gun. It looked, oh, yeah. Real, yeah. <laughs> it looked almost more real than the fake guns they used for the cops. This was like in the '80s. We used to have real realistic looking fake guns and it was great mm -hmm. and there was always these urban legends about like and look what happened you know like this retarded guy was waving the gun around he got shot by the cops you know yeah that actually happens though uh, but in this but in this maybe case we have so many school shootings if we let kids play with realistic looking guns huh it's a good that's take a away good take away the the real looking toy guns give them real well, guns Give them real. Be, give them, we need to give kids real guns. Yeah, realistic fake guns. That'll stop mm, the school shooters. I, I, you know, Adam talked me into it. I think we need to give them real guns. Uh, yeah, let Probably them get that out of their system outside of school. Yes, exactly. And know? get them drunk early yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want these kids to be able to do right? <laughs> I mean, just Drugs. some things that would help me. Some things that would, if they would have done, if they would have pursued a career, a uh, career in stand up comedy, just have them do it young, have them do it at three or four, get it out of their system so they can go yeah. to college. Mm. Yeah, that's good advice. Also, for are you kidding me? Imagine a kid up there, imagine a little three year old up there talking about the war in Iraq. That would be cute as hell. <laughs> imagine, a, imagine a four year old on the Joe Rogan podcast experience just yeah. talking about NFTs. Smoking a cigar, waving a smoking gun a cigar, and Joe Rogan's <laughs> like, "That's interesting. Yeah, never thought about that. <laughs> yeah, I never thought. Goo goo gaga. You say never thought about it like that. <laughs> and you know so much about three to four year olds. I'm kind of talk and a stuff. child whisperer. I whisper to a lot of children in public, That's and cool. people hate it. Cool thing to do. Parents really get uncomfortable. Yeah, with your pockets with holes in them. <laughs> yeah any underwear on. oh it's fun though it's my it's my life it's who i am remember the scene where sam ohong is trying to get a job or something like that doesn't he like run away well, some... okay yeah, oh, we'll talk that about that far? in a minute but like so this is the, the, plot the robber part. guy gets confronted by sam ohong with a gun because the kids are running around the robber guy and then the robber guy gets scared he thinks sam ohong's a cop and he just throws the jewels away and then well he gets table topped well by a bunch of kids what is tape? What does that mean? When one oh yeah, they kid push him over. Him, one oh, kid well, yeah, gets yeah, on yeah, all yeah. fours, and then he push him over. He accidentally gets table topped, and then the jewels go flying off a cliff or into the bushes. Yeah, so they hide the, the, the Samuel Hung and the kids hide the jewels. But yeah, like I think Adam brought up a good scene where part of, some of the melodrama before this is um, powerful. It's powerful and extremely moving. So. Yeah, how many times did you guys cry? Right Jackie now? Chan, uh, three or so four. So why does Samuel Hung get the job? Because of the cool. the the because of the uh the the tutor was it the tutor yelling why, at him or no? It was um, he's like, you want to why don't you grow up? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be it a was kid after forever. The... Oh yeah, that's yeah, the thing. Jackie's like, stop! You're you're not a kid anymore. He's talking to him like he's well, he just says, like, I, you don't, to be, He goes, you don't think you don't like, think I hate heart. this? Thinks you like I like doing this? You don't know how many times I wanted to choke you and then kill myself? I'm like yeah, Jesus it's frustrating. Christ! It, bro. I mean, that's how me and my brother argue. But damn, he's that's saying a that common, to you. Yeah, this is a common <laughs> trope in these kinds of movies. There's always well, it shows the, the difficulties that it places on, you know. The caretaker. Yeah. It's a difficult situation. <laughs> Complex. Well, yeah. yeah. It's tough. You love it's like he's a burden, but he loves him. Yeah. He just wants him to grow up. Stop being such a kid. Get a job. Change so the he chemicals for a job. in your body. Change your DNA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he looks for Lose a job. Lose that chromosome. Yeah. <laughs> and he's yeah, going he around. He goes and he does a really good job at, at this restaurant trying to get a. It's, it's this movie is just like Sam Ohan. I can't believe he's the director. I found that out like I or I realized that oh, afterwards. And he, it's just Sam Ohan like he completely humiliated himself for an entire movie. But this is just comedy. Like they think it's probably so it funny. I don't know if it's They're comedy. Right. Yeah, they trying right. to oh, evoke. I did. That's I was confused if they were stuff. trying to be a little more. Um, dramatic or 
if this was his like i am sam moment yeah it is fun to picture a theater full of chinese people crying (laughs) so what happened at the the restaurant he's the guy they just decided to fuck with them and they're like yeah just some skis bag restaurant oh yeah they're like always crazy like something like that Nah, they know he's simple they're like he's he's mentally challenged let's like humiliate him and they like throw bread on the ground they're like pick it up like a dog or like yeah act like an animal and, and this is they a... made him do a tiger a dog and a white eel slippery white eel yeah and this is uh something this happens in the movie nell with jodie foster there's a scene where she goes to a bar and these guys playing pool humiliate her and she's not retarded but she has she's uneducated she grew up in the woods as a wild child and in that movie they make her dance around and then lift up her dress and they're like come on let me go come on girl let me see them titties and then you see like jody foster's lift up her dress above her head and she's just like dancing around her like her breast exposed yeah it's like it's like the cruel world you know take like so make making them freak sounds like a good time Jackie Chan's pretty upset about this and he's like crying and then Sam Hung comes in and he's crying and then they like hug each other and they're crying and it's and then, and then the, the, the the other friend who is came watching to is watching and he, he goes I'm out of here I'm disappointed I can't, I'm disappointed to call you my friend I'm out of here and then leaves and then Jackie and his brother uh you know start hugging and crying and he pops back up into the door frame and he leans against it like old sitcom like an old after school special father and he goes <laughs> and starts crying it's beautiful man yeah. that's when i that's when i just let it go like i was crying <laughs> yeah. like i was crying through the whole thing but then when i saw him come back into frame and start crying and then give his you know <laughs> he learned give his nod of approval i just that's when i just went oh jackie <laughs> i just let it go i was crying wailing a beautiful so, story back to the and jewelry that, that's thing. how i sound when i cry <laughs> back to the jewelry thing um sounds a lot like something else that happens to you <laughs> i got the guy, same sound for when i cry come and uh cool. chortle <laughs> that's what so you call coming what happens at the jewelry thing like the cops want Samuel hung he has the jewels they want this other guy who's like trying to like give information Ultimately, it ends with this big showdown in a warehouse where Jackie Chan and these other cops go rogue and they just start murdering like hundreds of dudes. No, it's just machine like this construction them. site. Construction workers. They also do, a, there's like, before this, there's this awesome car chase. That was cool. And this, and this little yellow car. And a, car like matching guys his on. yellow outfit. Woo! Dude, for real. But uh, it was great for the last gonna... 20 minutes of the movie. They just add all this action. Yeah, the action in this movie is awesome. And then the non-action scenes are also awesome. You know, every scene oh in this my movie God, is good. You, no, you want to know the scene uh, is when I, I watching Jackie Chan <laughs> kiss somebody. Every movie where Jackie Chan kisses somebody, it's mm-hmm. the most uncomfortable. It looks like somebody who's never kissed anybody or seen anybody kiss anybody he does this thing where he like moves his head and he and he just sways he just sway like lip to lip and then he just sways and like moves his head and wiggles it's not makes me uncomfortable and it's gonna affect my star rating i'll tell you that much he's very non-sexual unsexual the love stories in his movies are never good i mean isn't that a chinese thing though like isn't that like it's what it's just for Jackie. It's not like that's not how Chinese movies are with romance and stuff. Like the songs that he's singing, In the, the ballads and love. everything. Uh, yeah, that's all about wa- not fucking. Wong Kar Wai. That's all about like it's all it's all very repressed. But like, they're romantic though. Not owning. Yeah, body, I just think bodies. Jackie Jackie probably just isn't good in bed. He ain't good in the sack. But Sam Hong. This well, you know movie. That, dude. Why do you think they call him Hung? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a nigga. Yeah. Big saggy butthole. Ew. <laughs> be funny if one of the kids like took it, we like, you have to date my mom. She's lonely and sad. And he just like had and he like I'm surprised he didn't have sex with a woman. 
Yeah, yeah. like that would have been a good scene. Until she lets him have sex. And she just like comes for the first time and she's very like really happy. Mm -hmm. Did you did you guys watch the uh credits at the end where yeah, you see that's all the... where I didn't get the bloopers. Remember the top There's no bl scene. <laughs> this is just his ass out. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, "What the fuck am I looking at?" I just I, was, see that I was like, like I was that, seeing Ghosty or something. I'd say that scene goes toe to toe with what's eating Gilbert Grape, the Leonardo DiCaprio, Leonardo DiCaprio bathtub scene, and what's eating Gilbert Grape is easily not as dramatic as William Hung's ass out of the out of the bathtub. <laughs> William. It's not William Hung. <laughs> oh, what is his name? William Sam Hung Hall. is is will is like will William dressed up like Sam Hung. American Idol. American Idol is <laughs> what was the song he sang? William Hung is the retarded version of William. From the no, it's just no William, William. William Hung is just the Asian version of William. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope William. Oh, that would be doing William's well dream. William, William <laughs> he's doing Asian fine. Stuff. He's like a. He's got a reality show. What song did he sing? She bang, she bang. Yeah, Ricky. I go crazy. With... <laughs> I can picture Sam that is, doing that. That is just that is just Asian at uh, William. How do you direct yourself when you're playing this character? When like... you're when you're ass up and head under water. <laughs> yeah, how did he direct that scene? Well, he's a great. He's a great actor and a great director. That's how he was able to do it. I want to see the behind the scenes footage where he's like directing the other actors while it went in the bowl cut and the overalls and just oh, being what, really serious that's just the like end credits at the monitor yeah it is <clears throat> anyway this movie is awesome any other good scenes we should talk about mm -hmm. so the gangsters kidnap samuel hong or whatever and then jackie has to go rescue him we talked about that yeah he we knows did. It. so anything else <laughs> That you want to mention oh to my god job? yes in the early scene when the guy gets poisoned earlier on when they go to the doctor for whatever reason i kind of the methadone clinic in, the methadone clinic okay and uh they give the guy what appears to be and this is probably where adam <laughs> climaxed I this is probably where that. adam <laughs> climaxed because him, uh they give him some that was a plastic liquid. cup of piss that was like <laughs> <laughs> it was Here's so much methadone. liquid it was so much liquid it was like just full, a, it was like 12 ounces that's just okay, a funny can prank we talk about pull, what the fuck is going addict. on in the scene like this guy got arrested then these other guys take over a methadone clinic to yeah, poison him yeah. and he doesn't even want to get methadone i mean this is such an elaborate setup this is when the scenes cut from the Hong Kong version. This is only in the Japanese version. And the other scene that was those cowards added was that restaurant fight scene. Remember, like where him and all the cops fight those dudes. Yeah, because they're like yeah, that was weird. That was waitress. just like a that was just a bar brawl out in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. It's good to have no, a little that action. That was that though. was so weird. Yeah, that they need that was like the right time for action, but. Because it was kind of slow, getting slow, but unnecessary. This movie has no. Also, slow parts, these are yes, not man. good. They're not good cops. Here's what should have been cut. I was rolling Here's on the what floor. Here's what should have been cut. Here's <laughs> okay. the slow part, and the whole pointless plot storyline of Jackie Chan wanting to quit the police force to be a sailor for a few years. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> it was terrible. Just the get fuck rid was of that, that whole thing. That uh, part was still good. No, then there's like never even any water in the movie. Like, like there's not even. They go to the boat. He just wants to he... get away because he's no, like. No, it you ends. Know, a, it ends with him in jail. So <laughs> Sam Hung is like, it's so tall, and Jackie Chan's like, you don't say it's tall, you say it's big. He's like, oh. I feel like tall is okay for a ship action. But you, you're. I mean, well, yeah, you and Sam yeah, Hung think old. alike. <laughs> Here's the thing: you and you're you and Samuel dummy. Hung's character, a big dummy character. Yeah, Adam, you are like the. What reminded me of Adam as Big Dummy, no disrespect. Um, no, 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 of course not. What <laughs> was the scene where they're walking down, they're walking down the street after he like bails him out or whatever. And yeah. um, he's got his hand going down the wall and he's like, don't touch the wall. It's dirty. And then he immediately touches it. And then he's bending <laughs> over and looking. He's look. he's like playing with fish at this market or pet store, or whatever. And uh, 
this is when I was like, oh, that's something that Adam would say. Jackie comes over and he points to the fish and he goes, uh, not Jackie, but his br- retarded brother. And he says, uh, he goes, did you know fish can swim underwater? And, ja- and Jackie just shakes his head. He just goes, oh, God. And then grabs his hand and walks away. And I was like, that's some shit, Adam. <laughs> I mean, he's, that's a good point. What was the kind deeper of connotations of this uh, movie, Adam? Speaking of which. What what was what you catch? Is it about Hong Kong and China? Is it about? I think it's about yeah the differences between Hong Kong and China. <laughs> okay, no, of course. Or normies and yeah. What what, what would you retards. say is the meaning of the story? What's the what's the meaning? What's the I message? Mean, well, it's a beautiful story of sacrifice and selflessness from Jackie. Brotherhood. Yeah. You know, like he, like he, he wants, he, he wanted to join the Navy to be free because he's been, you know, trapped his whole life taking care of Sam Hung. but he's got the heart of a dragon, so he can do it. And then what happens? Sam Hung gets in the worst trouble possible. Jackie has to risk everything. Jackie ends up in jail, literal jail, not just at the end of it, yeah. um, you know, prison, spiritual baby. jail, Long which term. he was, was in. So. But he walks yeah. out. So the moral of the out? story, the message of the film is abandon the burdens in your family. Just kill them in the crib. Put them up for adoption when they're young. When they're 18, put just open the door, kick them out the car, let them I mean, fend J- for themselves. Jackie you, yeah, you probably should have killed Sam O'Hunk. You can't choose sleep. your family. Like they say, you can't choose your family, but you can choose to abandon them at any time exactly yeah so make the hard choice if if anybody out there is listening to this and really just wants to get away from their retarded brother and all the responsibilities that come with that you can just leave just leave make the hard choice and leave don't take the easy route and stay don't take the easy route and stay and help them and do whatever's weird more smother him with a pillow while he's sleeping of well, mice and, and men kill yourself yeah have you guys seen of mice yourself. and men <laughs> just like jackie wanted That's have you seen of mice and men or read the book of course no i've seen my i've seen mice and men before but never and never that in one um room. never in the, the same there's room. a great movie where gary sinise is the the smart brother and john malkovich is the dumb brother lenny and he like rapes a girl or something so john malkovich or Gary Sinise has to shoot John Malkovich in the back of the head. Yeah. That's what mm-hmm. Jackie should have done. Could have done. I, that's what I But he like made his choice. To he took the easy road. <laughs> it would have been funny if that's what Samuel Hung did to Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of his little kid friends told him to do it. For yeah. Some reason. <laughs> hey, I need you to do this. He's just like, I need to drop this guy. He's a burden. Yeah. He won't let me like do what he won't let me won't let me do my thing. There's a lot of scenes of Sam Hung like playing with a ball or playing with a bunch of little kids just rolling around. He's like leapfrogging He's also on little kids. Playing with like baby toys. <laughs> yes. He None needs of to the grow other up. kids were playing with baby toys. Like he in the scene, the restaurant scene, he had yeah, but it was like too much. He like acts the like a child in the he acts like a toddler, but he's yeah. hanging out with kids who are way more mature than him. <laughs> that would not be his peer group. No, he would have like a whole other group of He'd rascally, be... uh, mentally handicapped people. Probably. That'd be fun. I want to see like, that movie. Like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest types. Yeah, in this movie, like I feel like they didn't understand what being retarded was at when they made this movie. <laughs> or like they China. Just, he just understand. acts like a kid. I, yeah. I'll let, I think we should let Adam talk on this topic without interrupting him because it's like, I know it's personal, but you growing up retarded and having to deal with that. Like, I know we make jokes and stuff, but like, did this, was oh. any of this similar? Yeah. I just want to say drinking a full cup of piss part. Cause we all know you did that. And like, you know, I didn't drink a full cup of piss. It Plus, wasn't like, let me like glug it or whatever. How much? How many sip. ounces? So when that, you met your very, wife, very Adam, little, very little. was it just like a thing where two parents, like a couple pairs of parents got together and just forced you on each other? 
Like, hey. Was it, yeah, was this an arranged marriage? Let's do matchmaking. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Did you use Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's a good one. No, I want to say how I long have you? I feel like that's William's go to. <laughs> made that up, buddy. That's a good one. A win, though. <laughs> Just now. I need a nap. That was the first one that popped in my head. <laughs> Got it. Um, yeah. yeah that's what yeah, you, you guys are right. That's they just what happened. blindfold you two, put you in the basement <laughs> together, and just um, how many they overalls they, did they you didn't wear? Let us out until we up, made a baby. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I should have been wearing overalls on this episode. That'd be awesome. With like no, a I, pinwheel, holding onto a pinwheel. Yeah, I just want to <laughs> say I know that I'm I'm uh, mm -hmm. retarded and a burden on you mm -hmm. guys in society. So I want to thank you for guys for not killing me in my sleep and. We've well, tried. you've been a real help for us when you, when I got in trouble at work and you pretended to be my father and you talked to the boss. <laughs> That's true. You I mean, we almost got away him. with it too. I just couldn't stop saying the same thing over and over and playing with that well, toy. Balls. And my balls, balls were just hanging out. out. <laughs> <laughs> your pants. Whoopsie. I did not, I can't believe they saved that, the scene of Sam Hogg sticking his ass out of a tub and then put it at the end credit. <laughs> like you think in you've the seen the craziest thing. It was in the movie. That movie. Oh, I, oh, you do? Yeah. I must have been did, did he have his ass dealing out with the food scene, poisoning? Yeah, he's like point. taking a bath and his ass is like, and he puts his head underwater and he's just like, Jackie yeah, I remember his him. head being underwater, but I don't remember. And we his got ass a real is Baron, Baron Stein situation going on. Yeah. William just dreamed that his ass was up in the air. Right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, he was, he made that weird he made that weird inhale, so I was waiting yeah. for him to say something like, "Oh God!" Yeah. He like just moans. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for him to. <laughs> I would have loved a scene with him, like going to the doctor or something, like getting a physical, drinking have, like, more hot, piss, like a hot doctor. Oh yeah, you know he gets hard. Yeah, go on. Go to a, been a, go to a more like get, get me the scene. Start it. Interior, doctor's office. Yeah, you should have had a scene where like a lady, like a babe, thinks he's like hunky or something like that, or it's like <laughs> and starts like seducing him, and he's like gets scared and and starts like shouting, <laughs> and then she's like, "What are you? A, are you, you got to grow up, man. It's time to grow up." And then she or, fucks like, him, him forcibly. Whore, get him a hooker. Yeah. The kids, his kid friends. The restaurant owner, maybe, guy. Yeah. I like see Jack, him come back. Jackie, like, Jackie trying Chan... to teach, teach him like, how Jackie to kiss, Chan but should... his brother has to teach Jackie how to kiss. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like the fun student becomes the master. Yeah. Or like he dates like a five-year-old girl. Like he falls in love with a five-year-old. <laughs> and it's like... He's like courting her. Like they're getting ice cream together. She's like, wow, you're so nice. He's like, thank you. Yeah, and there's like, a lot of great, you know, story storylines that this these characters could could go on from here. It needs to be a series. It's hard of dragon. I do like series. I do like the the under undercover sequel idea. Yeah, they <clears> where they together. have to go undercover, and they have to go undercover at a um. There's like this big sex ring going on at like an elementary school. So his brother goes in undercover as one of the students. And uh, or does no Jackie goes as one of the students, and Hung goes as his dad. Oh man! So then we just get that same school interaction, oh, parent-teacher conference interaction. <laughs> Can you imagine? And it's a two and a half hour movie. Yeah, take a pass. And it's called Butthole of the Dragon. Butthole of the Dragon, huh? And then the cover is Hung's Samuel butt Hung out of the. Mm-hmm. 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 Buttholes before breathing. That's my motto. I'm sorry. Buttholes before breathing. If you're in a water situation, what is confusing about this? If you're in a water situation, if you're in a water situation, I mean, if I'm in a bath, and you have to make, I mean, bath, shower, whatever, and you have a water to make situation. Well, here's the thing about your mouth and your butthole. Both are how you breathe. So you can't plug both of those up. You can't be underwater not because well, you're not breathing. So if you put your face underwater, you know, your butt holds breathing. Thing. When you say you. the water situation, I was thinking like mm -hmm. Jersey Shore, the situation. 
But like, wouldn't it be funny if there was a retarded guy in the Jersey Shore? <laughs> they, oh, they living all with are, them. aren't they? <laughs> aren't they? Isn't that what like, the whole point of the show them. is? Like go and to the club don't. and they just don't know the rest of the cast just can't figure out like what is something's up with Derek. Oh, Derek Derek's was cool like guy. he was oh. like fucking ignore. Now one of them's got beef with him for some dumb ass reason. He's like yeah he was like eating his pudding with his hand and that's just not kosh bro. His t-shirts are his t-shirts are a little dirty. I mean I'll give it to him that bowl cut he's rocking sick as fuck but like bro he has like gel in his bowl get cut. rid of the drool dude the awesome yeah. Samuel Hung had a blowout like a big jersey he had a jersey short blowout <laughs> he's just but the same character <laughs> just tan <laughs> I don't know bro here's my this is uh what's a jersey short person situation big Mike Snooky. Snooky. <laughs> All right, yeah, Snooky's like, I don't know what his problem is, but I went to reach for something in his pocket, and this fool didn't have any underwear <laughs> oh. <laughs> or pockets. And they all start doing that. But like, then it just, show, it just shows Snooky in there <laughs> not having a problem with that. Just uh, Jane another and Mo. Good Jane sequel is idea. Jane just jacking off a mentally challenged. Samuel one. Hung is a pickup <laughs> artist. <laughs> Samuel Hung is a pickup artist, you know, teaching men how to get girls. The same He's, way the kids taught yeah. him. Like mystery. Yeah. He just showing guys how to cut holes in their pockets and stuff. He goes, no, what you you this is a rookie mistake, and I'm gonna tell it to you now. <laughs> you wanna cut the pockets? <laughs> you wanna cut the, the pockets when the pants the are when the pants are off. Don't do don't put scissors in your pockets and start cutting. Like let's talk about the best stunts <laughs> in the movie. There, here's a like there's an out. amazing stunt where Samuel Hung is digging up the jewels and then this guy's spying on him and then kicks Samuel Hung in the chest, knocking him off, like knocking him down a mountain. And it's like a long, slow motion sequence. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That's just Arthur's falling so awesome. down. I thought I was watching the last Rolling around around and getting hit. <laughs> it so goes on slow, forever. Man. Oh, my God. Just like... <laughs> I wish I didn't have food poisoning too. during this movie because I was having such a good time watching it. And then another great stunt is a guy jumps out of a window, lands on an awning, and then there's a moving car. Perfectly, perfectly timed car. That just he slowly lands rolling, on. O- almost rolling over his head right after. That was like... that was tight, dude. Oh no, that, that was in the cool. uh, bloopers. Yeah. Yeah. So. Then the, it's... it ends with like guys getting jumping out of like a huge construction site. Thing with explosions, yeah, they get blown up by grenades, how, but you don't see I don't them. Think land. That's how grenades do that, though. It looks pretty oh, they're dead, though, so. dude. They're like eight feet up, eight stories up. They gave know, their life the stunt, for a noble cause. This movie, well, like a lot of the cool stunts in these movies are like a guy f- jumping He's, out of a yeah, window yeah, yeah. and then you see him land in a pool or an awning or <laughs> that's where we get the greatest bloopers. Mm-hmm. This one, they just get blown out and you don't get to see them land. And so, I just assume there was like a bit, a lot of like cushion what cushion or bags or so you're, nets? you're a little probably nets. A little, a little disappointed no, no in those movies they used to they would just like have like stacks of cardboard boxes that's how they would do, this do is it. way they, they fall place. out of they jump out of a six-story building there's no way they're landing on cardboard boxes they're landing on a net well they could be big you don't know boxes. How the chinese does stuff dude it could be like what if it's a bunch of refrigerator boxes filled with other cardboard boxes yeah, they and just a add bunch more boxes. Guys, there's like nine. There's like nine guys falling at the same time. They're landing. They're on not falling on the same spot. Hey, look, gotta figure this out. So okay, so nine refrigerator boxes. I just saw nine, nine cardboard boxes nine on the ground. Re- <laughs> you better land on that cardboard box. <laughs> just nine little shoe boxes. Every, I'm trying to scroll through the movie, and every like still that it lands on is like an insanely stupid it's they don't show it in the movie adam so you're not going to see it okay okay so what's everybody's rating (laughs) five easy because you originally gave it two and a half stars adam i know honestly well i think i saw the hong kong cut so it's just a very hard movie to rate entertainment value it's like it's pretty way up there but it's like obviously it's you know 
quality. <laughs> what about the same cinematic quality, like, art, but the level of art? Also, the action in this movie is really good. There's some pretty right? good action. Oh, it's Here's all. Thing. It's I all gave sick. it three stars. I thought it was like entertaining and funny and interesting, and it's mm. a really good movie to talk about in the podcast. But like, is it a slick? Yes. Excellent action film like Super Cop? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Does it have the stunts of Drunken Master 2? No. But this it's got heart. Yeah. It's got the heart of the oh, dragon. Now I see. Oh. Yeah. You know? I'm, I don't know. I'm, maybe three and a half or I want to say I might say four. I went four. I just seven, can't five. believe how entertaining this movie is. I know we're not doing thirds fourths quarters whatever but i went four seven five wow that's very high four seven five and honestly higher than super cop and here's why um a lot of the times it was very fun and again no disrespect adam it's very fun to just oh, of course ima so. imagine <laughs> big dummy as adam <laughs> why would i feel disrespectful? And just I almost want to go through and, and go quote to quote, go through all of the episodes of this podcast and then find all of Adam's best quotes and go quote to quote with, do you know fish could swim underwater? Did you know this Jackie Chan movie uh, is there's karate in it? A lot of, a lot of, a lot of martial arts. Yeah. What you're I didn't not like, know you're not the seeing drama. the hit, the hidden wisdom in I, what I'm saying or what Sam mm -hmm. is saying in this movie. There's hidden mm -hmm. wisdom and, well, don't hide it babes. you guys are good at hiding stuff well maybe you're not ready shit yeah <sighs> think about that no society's not ready <laughs> so you were like sick rolling on the ground eating cucumbers <laughs> just shitting and still puking. <laughs> I like ass got, out like, in the bathtub like so weird the entire time and I, I thought I was like dying at some point but you were, long, it's like you smoked a joint, so you're. I had a couple of, <laughs> I had a couple of puffs, and then I just got like hit by like a train, basically. No, it's the cucumber. And I, I was still nauseous when I woke up. I'm not doing good today, guys. Sorry, this is not my best episode. How was church? It was good. It was good. It's church. It's always good. Yeah. How was your How was your church? <sighs> Well, I had to skip it to watch this movie, so that's kind of why I gave it point point two five. I would have gave the sucker five all the way, but I miss church, and I really hope God forgives me. And I think He will because this movie had. I was kind of did a community service watching and enjoying a mentally retarded um, movie. Yeah, yeah. It's one thing that, that I'm an ally. Community. One thing that was yeah. funny in the credits or on the IMDb trivia, there was Sam <laughs> Hung said like the movie producers wanted me to do Kung Fu, but I refused because it was, it wouldn't make sense for the character. Like, <laughs> it really it's about wouldn't. realism. Okay. It's it got to be realistic. The, there's a so movie where an autistic girl kicked. learns how to, she can learn karate through watching people. But he's constantly getting his ass kicked by like the gangsters and kind, the but guys. But he's he's got that big strength, you know, that big dummy strength. And he like pushes, he, he'll take he'll a like, he'll like throw a table at him. Kicked. Yeah. The he gets away a lot. Him. He gets away a lot in this movie. Well, he scrambles and he runs from group from large groups of men. Yeah, I love the end scene and where Jackie Chan's in jail and Samuel Hung is just like eating French fries and eating living McDonald's. his best life. Yeah. <laughs> like, and everybody is Chan. taking turns taking care of him. Yeah, Jackie's friends are taking care of Samuel Hung. Why didn't you? Jail? Yeah, why didn't you set just this shit abandon up like him, this Jackie? Before? You would have been yeah. fine. Exactly. Put a bullet in his head. He's living a better life. Put a ball in my head. I also I'm like how kidding. all the other prisoners are just consoling Jackie through his whole time. Oh. It's like, bitch, we're we're also in prison. Like we're also <laughs> hey, sad. Yeah. Like hey, fuck man. you. Sorry, you're like, sorry, you're in jail. <laughs> Jackie, you selfish prick. Like I, I had Chinese a wife. jails I had are just seven very friendly. Children at home that I left, Jackie, for your <laughs> crusade to get your big your big dummy brother back. Yeah. Heart of a dragon. This movie got me worked up. So, where do you rank this compared to the other Jackie Chan movies? Number one. 
Well, Ryan rated this no. higher than Super Cop. Yeah, it's better than Super Cop because that Super Cop isn't my favorite Super Cop that we watched. What about but I don't... Uh, Rumble in the Bronx? Is this better? No. Rumble, Rumble in the, the Bronx is also Rumble in the Bronx really, is a classic. Really That's a classic. That's a classic Chan. I don't know. I want to. The I bottle feel like scene I was in the alleyway. Great though. viewing experience by being sick on the floor during this movie. Yeah, I, Adam, that just so sounds excited. like a bad experience in general. I did. It was. <laughs> I had a bad experience. Why were you on the floor, not your sofa? You know, when you when you're hit by it, you're like you, you're like oh, and you like fall over, and you like sort of crawl. <laughs> over like... Like, you're just like splayed out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what was happening. I was really fucked up last time. It was rough. It was really. Were you intense. like shitting yourself or what? I, I I was really close to throwing up for like four hours, oh maybe. God. But I was like, Dude, that's serious. You I kept not. Me? I kept being like, no. But you're you not didn't throw, throw up? up. Oh wow! I man, should have honestly. In retrospect, that's so intense. <laughs> what? I can't believe you went through such an intense experience. Where you I had, I don't like know. The first, that's like I'll the first the hour of, of, of anyway. my day every day. Oh, yeah, like I know. It is nausea, kind of... Until I get that first little sip sip of that twisted tea in me. I, had, so, I felt like I felt like a final thoughts. Sort of What's your final thought of the movie, Adam? Um. I mean, did you know that fish can swim underwater? All I can do is think about having food poisoning. Oh, God. Ryan, any final thoughts? I got a few. I I feel like I covered a lot of them. You know, final thoughts. Just remember, you can't choose your family. You can choose to abandon them at any time. Um, So do that. And they'll they'll be better off without you. They'll be better off without you. You'll be in jail. Uh, but you'll be Jackie Chan, you know. Yeah, I I I my lesson for this is um, don't eat expired baby food. That's my Adam. Supply. You're a grown ass. Just don't eat baby food. <laughs> baby, yeah. Don't. It was. Eat baby I was. Food. It was either that or labeled? throwing it away. Making, okay. Do we need to start making jars labeled adult food for people like that Adam? Would, to... That that might be helpful. Yeah. Maybe you should move on to boy food. <laughs> yeah. Don't you don't want to jump right up to. Maybe you need like a chicken nugget. <laughs> just a little, you know? it's just great, a little, it's just a little uh, Gerber baby bottle, but it's got one chicken nugget inside of it. Maybe for dinner tonight, have a kid cuisine. <laughs> try the dinosaur shapes. Yeah, I'll try the dino nuggets. <laughs>